Good morning and welcome to Contemporary Athon Day 3. It is almost 11 o'clock, so I figured I should probably go to the grocery store now to get groceries because it's pretty terrible when you have to go to the grocery store like when everyone else is going to the grocery store. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. I thought that my vlog from yesterday was going up in like the middle of the morning because I was up till 1 a.m. like editing it and I was just waiting for it to like process and I went to bed and it turns out my computer had like turned off. So I just like finished like processing the vlog now. That's kind of sad because I like when, you know, the vlog kind of comes out in the middle of the night and everyone's like, oh my gosh, like there it is, you know, like that type of thing. Anyway, so. I hope you guys are watching it now. I got ready, but I didn't have any coffee yet. I actually think I'm going to stop at Starbucks and treat myself to Starbucks because right now I'm just eating unhealthy before I start a healthy thing again in October. So why not just, you know, go all out? <laughs> Cause that's what I do. So um, I actually wanted to do, so like, do you guys remember uh, when Books and La La, I think it was for the reading rush, she um, would have you guys tell her like what to order. Well, obviously, I didn't think far ahead enough for this because I'm going right now. But um, for tomorrow, I really wanted to do that uh, before I go to work. So I'm just going to get what I want today. Um, but then, and like, because I really wanted to do this idea over like, uh, spookathon or night marathon now that that announcement went live but I will be eating healthy and I can't have any like sugar or anything so I probably won't be able to like do that so I thought why not give me a coffee recommendation for tomorrow like before I go to work or even if it's something I can make at work maybe I'll just make it at work but we don't have like a lot of different syrups um, but drop all of your like favorite coffee recommendations down below I actually will probably do it again like a full like week of it or something like that when I'm not like paying attention to what I eat and it'll probably be over closer to like Christmas time um but you know let's just have fun with it and I want to see like what everyone else orders I mean I pretty much like everything but I usually don't drink sugar in my coffee um I'm not <laughs> no offense to Lala if you're watching this she's not I will drink anything like I pretty much like everything but I mean I just stopped drinking sugar in my coffee like a couple years ago when I did like this sugar detox thing and I didn't feel the need to ever go back. Like I tried the pumpkin cream cold brew the other day and it was so sweet. I even told them I didn't want the vanilla like syrup pumps in it. So today I'm probably just gonna get like a flat white, I think. Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. What can we get for you today? Hi, can I get a tall flat white? Flat white. And that's it. Okay, your total is four forty four. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Hi. Four forty four, please. How are you today? Good, how are you? Awesome. How about a receipt? Uh no thanks. Here you go and have a great day. Awesome. Thank thanks. you. Groceries away. It is 118 
and I haven't read anything yet today. I actually had started When the Light Goes Out last night, like after I had finished vlogging and I was editing. I always have to like wait for the video to process. So I think I got like 30-ish pages into the, into the book, like When the Light Went Out. I actually need to charge my phone now um, or else I won't be able to like film the rest of the day when I go shopping then for like the gift box I'm getting for my friend. So I'm going to plug my phone in so it can charge and that way it gives me time to read. I'll probably read for an hour or so. I'll probably just like set a timer, read for an hour, and then that way I can go to TJ Maxx and get some things for my friend trying to build her box for October because like me and a couple of my like online book friends, like we all send each other a box like every month. And so I'm paired with my friend Brandy. And so I'm like getting her like cute little things to like in this box so she can open it and it's gonna be amazing. And then um, what else was I gonna do? Well, when my husband comes home at 5.30, like I'm actually kind of cooking tonight. Like I know it seems like we're eating really unhealthy and I probably haven't eaten like fast food or pizza in months because we actually eat very healthy, but it's like I give myself every now and then like a couple days to just kind of like eat whatever I want so that way I just don't always feel restrictive and do like a whole like binge for months and months and months. So I actually just finished, like I had two pieces of the pizza from last night. That was all that was left. My husband ate so much of it. So I had two pieces of pizza for lunch today. And then I have some like leftover rotisserie chicken that I'm going to heat up. And I might have to also, I got like two chicken breasts I might have to like cook as well. Um, and then I have a box of like mac and cheese that I'm going to make. And I'm probably gonna fry some plantains, I think, just because we're eating like, you know, all of the all of the stuff before I start like doing a whole 30 which is going to be like really healthy and stuff like that which I'm really excited about because I got like acorn squash and spaghetti squash and just a bunch of like really yummy things for this coming week I don't know I mean I guess I might start it a little early I was gonna start October 1st but I don't really have any other food in the house unless I just like eat at work every single day, which I might actually do that. So I might not even have to cook over the weekend. I know for like when I do my night marathon vlog, like I actually will have cooking clips in there cause I will be on the whole 30. So I'll be doing all my home cooking. Cause I know that some of you actually enjoy watching people cook and I usually always cook, but for this time, I'm actually not cooking, but it's fine. I'm actually going to make myself, I drank all of my Starbucks coffee like super fast. And so I'm gonna make myself just a uh, regular K cup, but I wanna try the white chocolate mocha Starbucks creamer. I just found this and they also had pumpkin spice latte, but I sent a picture to my husband and I was like, which one should we get? And he was like, uh, white mocha, cause this is like his favorite. I am I usually don't drink sweet coffee, so I'm probably gonna mix this with also just regular like half and half that I have, just so that it's only like a little bit of flavor, um, but I'm excited for this. So I'm going to make this and then that way I can just, I reuse this cup for like a whole day, that way I can can just take it with me when I go to TJ Maxx to shop. I'm gonna make some coffee and then we'll like, I'll read and then we can go shopping again. Let me just spend all of the money that I don't have. I mean, not really, I do have the money, but you know what I mean. Is 3 30 I read um, I almost got to I think I'm at 170 pages now in 13 so I read about 70 pages for an hour um, and I am not liking it anymore I'm very much like lost with all the like legal talk in it and I don't know there's a bunch of characters it's, it's just very like legalistic and has a bunch of terms that I like don't know so I'm having a really hard time following the story which is really sad because if I wasn't doing a live show for it on Saturday I would just DNF it and I would start something else and so it's kind of sad because I'm gonna have to just like push through it and I don't even know like what am I even gonna talk about for the live show which is really sad but Hopefully a bunch of you guys get on and then that way you guys can just comment things and comment things you want to talk about and then we can just talk about them 
because otherwise I like I have no discussion questions planned for it I can't find anything about it and yeah I'm not I'm not super looking forward to it I have high hopes for our other like thriller talks after dark live shows because I feel like the books that we picked for other months are like more in my style this one I definitely did not know if I was gonna like it or not because I've, I'm not a crime thriller type of person but everyone hyped it up so much that I thought I you know we should try it out but yeah that's a little sad now I'm at TJ Maxx I don't know if you can see that or not but I'm at TJ Maxx I'm about to head inside it actually seems pretty busy but I'm hoping to find things for a box that I'm building for my friend Brandy and I'm really really excited because like I love going to TJ Maxx they always have like the best fall stuff and I'm gonna see if I can find like my favorite candle because I need to stock up on my favorite candle for fall time. Let's go shopping. I found it. This is my favorite brand of candle and my favorite scent. Back from the store, I quick put the rotisserie chicken in the oven for dinner. I feel like this is crooked. And I have some water getting ready to boil so I can make the mac and cheese. And then I'm just gonna fry some plantains. And I think that's what's gonna be for dinner. Um, my husband said he should be home pretty soon. I think he, cause he said he was coming home like when I was leaving the store. So I only got to go to TJ Maxx, but I got some great things. Got these signs to hang in our bedroom. Cause we have that one wall that like doesn't have anything on it. And I, these were like so cute. So this is leaves are falling, autumn is calling. And so I'm just gonna like have it hang. And there's three of them that I got. So I got this one, autumn skies and apple pies, like for the middle. And then this last one, oh my God, I love fall. And so they're all gonna like hang in a row, like in the bedroom wall. I'll try and show you later if my husband hangs them up when he gets home. We still have to paint the bedroom because um, if you can't tell, like these walls, we painted like white pretty much. And like the kitchen and the bathroom we had painted right when we had moved in because they were like bright blue. But the rest of the house is this like yellowish color and that's what the bedroom is. And so eventually I want to paint it white. We just haven't gotten to it yet. And then I got a bunch of other goodies for my friends. So Brandy, if you're watching this and Gabby, if you're watching this, don't watch it, just stop. Well, I got this one protein shake for my husband because he wanted to start doing protein shakes again. And then for myself, I got chocolate covered espresso beans because I love those things so much. And then let's see, these are crunchy peanut butter caramel bites that I got for Brandy. I also got her some dryer, wool dryer balls because that's what I use in my dryer. It's like a natural alternative to like softener, um, like little softener things. Um, I got Gabby these milk chocolate peanut butter cups and then I got a couple candles for them. They're all like wrapped up, but I got a couple candles. One candle's for me, this big one, I think. This big white pumpkin candle, this sensational brand is like my all time favorite and white pumpkin's like the only fall candle I buy because I love the smell of this so freaking much. It is so good. And then I got some fuzzy socks for one for, I think this one's for Brandy and this one's for Gabby. And what else? I got some like little cookie things for Brandy. And then she likes, um, what's it called? Ray Dunn. So there's actually, I don't want to like undo it because I'm going to send it to her and then I don't have to wrap it again. But I got some Ray Dunn stuff for her, like some soup bowls. And then I got this like silver nail polish for Gabby. I feel like she would really like the silver, especially for like fall time. So yeah, just a bunch of like stuff. Yes. <laughs> also time for wine. So let me grab some wine. Like two fires, movement so graceful. Wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws. Movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey. Like stars in the darkest night, crystallized, fascinating. If you wanna stay alive, if you don't wanna be her prey, don't stand in her way.
I was filming Graham for a second. <laughs> You're a bad filmmaker. <laughs> That's the last time I get you. Actually, people, uh, I had him in the vlog yesterday, and, and, and people were like, oh my gosh, what's his name? But anyway, this is the book I asked the publisher for. It came, it was in, like, the book of the month um, for just this past month. But yeah, publisher sent it to me, so I'm really excited to read it. I actually should probably read it for contemporary thon, but yay! What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so it is 11.04 and we just finished watching all of Apocalypse of American Horror Story and oh my gosh, like that show was so crazy like I was so confused for most of the time and then it literally wrapped up like in the last episode and it was really really cool because there was so much of like coven like coven and murder house like all came back in this season which was really cool because that's like kind of the first season where you really saw like ties in from other seasons because most of the time you can just watch it you know just like a season by itself and it doesn't really tie in it's kind of all by itself so it was really cool to see, but I'm going to work on editing this vlog now and while it's uploading, I'll probably read some more of When the Light Went Out. I got that other book, um, I put it away, but uh, like, what was it called again? I forget what it was called, like what I used to be, I don't even know. The one that I received in the mail today, I actually really want to read that for contemporary a -thon, but right now I'm literally in the middle of like three books because I'm listening to Whisper Network, I am reading When the Light Went Out and 13, and so I'm kind of, I hit this like rock wall where like now I don't want to read because I'm not really interested in 13 anymore, and When the Light Went Out, I'm only like 30 pages in, so I haven't really like clung to it yet. So I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow morning because I have to leave for work at 2 p.m. I close tomorrow night, so I'll try and read in the morning time and then um, I'll be working until like I'll probably get home at like 12.30 in the morning or something like that and probably have to like edit the vlog and stuff to get up. So I'll only get to read tomorrow morning, but I guess I'll just see how I'm feeling in the morning and like what I want to read. Um, cause I really, like, I have to finish 13 for the live show, so, yeah. Ugh, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you're still enjoying the vlogs. Um, you know, it's not like I have that much exciting things that happen in my life, but I do try and kind of show you everything that I do. Um, I'm really excited for tomorrow because I got some really great Starbucks recommendations on my Instagram um, when I did like a little story earlier. And so, especially if you guys leave me a comment down below with more recommendations, um, who knows, I might just order one for the rest of the week in contemporary thon because I love me some Starbucks. So give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.